All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, today's video should be a series of videos. Um, I like to do electric conversions. Up here was an old RC10 GT, originally nitro. I converted it to electric. Here we have a Savage XL, originally nitro, 5.9. That was converted to a flux using minimal parts. That was a budget build. Uh, I wish I would have documented that. Uh, but today, we have a couple more Savages. This is a 2.5, ready to run version that I got on a trade lot for a couple parts and a spare truck. Um, that is nitro and upon inspecting it i mean servo saver stripped out but i have that one there that i'll put on here the servos do work motor has compression um everything's complete on this truck so i think i want to keep this intact and i'll clean it up in another video it's pretty filthy and grimy but i might clean it up see if we get it to run might keep it nitro because nitro savages are fun but with this came a whole other chassis and uh let me get this thing out of the way so you can see what i'm talking about here so bear with me there's the uh the ss chassis which was a kit version so you had to put that together so let me get this out of the way here I decided that I'm gonna convert that SS kit to electric. And I already started stripping it down, as you can see. Um, my little trio sticker for my LMT. Trio makes good stuff. Get yourself some trio stuff. But if you know it's Savage, these parts are interchangeable. All this stuff here is interchangeable. Two speed transmission, we're not gonna be using that. I went and ordered myself an RC for me. Uh, flux center diff transmission that's going to come in um, got myself some flux TVPs coming motor mounts uh, decided what the you know I mean you don't have to upgrade the differentials I mean these are the these are the diffs on the SS kit the 2.5 you know they're not you know heavy duty per se I mean you can get away with using these on electric conversion but I'm going to send a lot of power <laughs> through this drive line. I mean, that truck right there on 4S, it rips. On 6S, it's absolutely absurd. You know, and it's a big truck. You know, this SS is going to be a lot shorter in wheelbase. But I did order the extended axles. So I want to make this a little wider. You see the axle. The extended ones are going to come out to at least here. A little wider stance. Order a 17 mil hex kit to go on there. But... I got some parts coming. I got some, uh, I found some secondhand used XL differential housings with the 11 millimeter dog bones. And, you know, I'm going to upgrade the drive line on this thing pretty good. But I'm going to pretty much use all these parts here that you see on the bench, aside from the transmission. But you can see, you know, like we'll take this bulkhead, for instance. Aside from that center differential, I'm going to use this whole piece right here. And we're just going to slap these right into the chassis when it comes. So I just want to make a quick video. You know, a buddy of mine, Ryan BRC, you know, he busts my balls all the time about me with these, with these parts trucks and these rollers and, you know, building these electric conversions. You know, I enjoy doing it. I figured I'd document it, you know, if anybody's interested in, you know, doing these types of conversions. I mean, these trucks are particularly easy. Parts are available. This one here was a challenge because, you know, there wasn't many parts available to convert it. Uh, I could do a video if anybody's interested on this one and what I actually did to make this truck run. This truck here is a rocket. It's very light. It's nimble. Uh, 2S is fast. On 3S, uh, you can't even drive it. But, you know, an RC10 GT, it's a legendary truck. And on electric power, that's uh, fun. You know, I have a lot of fun driving that truck. You know, out of all the trucks I do have, you know, I, I think that might be my favorite. Uh, then probably this one, maybe because maybe I built them. I mean, the LMT is a hell of a lot of fun. Kaiju's fun. The LSCX24. 
a damn near mint Losi LST XXL. We got a summit down there. Here's my rustler. We got a little 116 summit. Eventually, I'll probably get this running because Nitro Savages are just cool trucks. But I like doing these electric conversions. So as parts arrive and time goes on and I get further along, you know, I'll update. I'll document so you guys can follow along. Um, you know, nice outdated uh, AM, FM radio systems. That's the original radio out of that truck. So, I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching.